Hi guys, so I'm back. I've been shopping again and I have some stuff to tell, show you. And I have a, a really cool story to tell you too with one of my items, but I'll save that towards the end. So to keep you on, keep you hanging. So anyway, um, to start with, I went to Unique yes, last night and then I went again this morning. For some reason, I just felt like I needed to go this morning. Boy, am I glad I did. So, and, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. So when I, uh, I think when I first started recording videos, I'm not really sure. I think I, I showed you my big bears. Um, these are Cory Critters and this was Bear Buddies called Cory Cousins. And you can see they're pretty big. Well, yesterday, sorry about the fly. I'm battling flies and I don't know why. Um, yesterday, put them up here so you can see the difference. I found this one for $7.99. This is Billy and Friends, Cory Critters. And I kept this one just because I thought it was just adorable. And then when I saw this one, um, I, I've, it's another one that obviously. So with this one, I don't know, I might sell them both, um, but I'm not in any hurry. They sit in, the, the big one sits in my curio cabinet and I'll probably put the little one with them just so they're all together. And eventually I'll probably sell them both. But uh, yeah, so I paid $7.99 for that. And then Jocelyn Elizabeth, I got a bowl thinking of you. It's just adorable. $1.49, and you can see how big it is. It's it's not very big. I've got big hands, but um, it's a very small little serving bowl with that beautiful owl in it. Isn't that cute? There's no markings on the back, so I don't know who made it, but it's, and I know it's modern. I know it's not vintage, but it's just adorable. And like I said, when I got it, I thought of Jocelyn, so... Sports. Sports is a big thing in Chicago. Huge, huge, huge. And I found these coasters, <clears throat> Chicago Bears. Look how thick they are. And the cork on the bottom. I don't know. They look like they may, they're either vintage or handmade. I don't really know. Chicago Bears, the Hockey Blackhawks, the Bulls, of course, and then the socks. The only thing that's missing are the Cubs. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this or give this to my roommate because my roommate's big in into sports. I paid $2.99 for the four of them. Came in a bag. Um, so I don't know. I, I haven't decided on that yet. And while I was walking around, the lady was putting stuff on the shelf and she put, this is a David's tea, uh, tea mug and it comes with the filter. Now there's two of them and lesson learned. And I'm going to tell you my lesson. This is beautiful. I paid $2.99 for this one. And I can sell this one for $40. Now this other one, I'm, I'm so mad. And I think this is why the universe sent me back today because definitely made up for this. So Unique uses this clear tape that just puts this horrible film on stuff. So when I picked this one up and I looked at the comps on this one, this one sells for well over $50. Um, it's also David's Tea, but it's, it's a Halloween theme. And on the top, it's got a cute little, like, eyes peeking out of a crack. The problem is, is I used Goo Gone to get the tape residue off. And that was a mistake because what happened was, is it uh, took, took, I don't know, a layer of, I don't know, it left a, a, a film on it or whatever. So it's not as shiny as it was. And I'm so angry. I'll keep it. I'll use it. Um, but it did frustrate me. I'll sell this one. Um, but this one, I'll, I don't really drink a lot of tea in the wintertime. I do. But um, I'll, I'll use this for coffee. But I was very upset by the fact that at first um, Unique uses that horrible tape that just sticks to everything. And then second that I used Goo Gone instead of just soaking it in warm water. Don't use Goo Gone. Use warm soapy water. I know better, but for some reason I wasn't thinking. Yesterday was a long day and I just was anxious to get that tape off because I was so frustrated that tape was on there that I didn't think twice and I, I ruined it. So very frustrated with that. So, okay, moving on. Blendo. Look at that. Isn't that the cutest little, it's, it's a tiny little picture. 
Um, and I paid $4.99 for this. It's really, I'm going to have to run some vinegar water and just let it soak in vinegar water because it's got a lot of residue on the inside of it, just from sitting more than anything. And then I'll use a magic eraser on the outside to get whatever, you know, scrape, little silverware scrapes or whatever. And then I also got this little parfait glass for $1.99. It was the only ones and that's kind of why I went back today because I thought well maybe they hadn't put them all out and I wanted to see if there was more there wasn't back to sports got this little NHL NHL hockey um, Blackhawks um, beanie so I'll be listing that I paid $6.99 for that I'll probably list it for $15 um, and then um, just recently I sold my pumpkin warmer that I told you I got from Yankee Candle. I sold it. And um, in fact, the day I listed it, it sold that day. So today I was in there and for $10, $9.99, they had the Christmas one. So, and this one hasn't been used. The, the pumpkin one had been used. Um, this one doesn't look like it's ever been used and in beautiful condition, even the, the tie, even the, the cord is still wrapped. So that being said, I'll probably um look pyrex now i haven't been picking up as much pyrex but this is a half pint bowl and i haven't seen this black uh acorn oak leaf pattern before it's really adorable i don't even know if i'm going to sell this because i think it's so cute but 3.99 i paid for that and i haven't looked up comps on that one yet fits and floyd we have some Fitz and Floyds. Now, um, th this Fitz and Floyd set is the Oceana, comes with the Oceana set. One of them has a couple of little doinks in it, like there's a little doink there, and then a little tiny, a little chippy there. Um, but this one's in perfect condition. So I picked them up, $1.50 each, and I'll, set them, I'll sell them as a set for, I don't know, $12. Um, and so, yeah, Fitz and Floyd. Love Fitz and Floyd. Okay, and then a little vintage, little, this is a big vintage martini shaker. Look how big this is. I paid $4.99 for this. And this one, and here is that residue I'm talking about. See that? It's just terrible. I will soak this in soapy water because I don't want that silver coming off. Um, yeah, it's just, it's horrible, horrible stuff. And the top is got a little bit of um, rust on the inside. I don't know if I can get that off. Uh, I'll see what I can do. I'm sure there's a way to get that off. But so anyway, today I got this vintage frame. Look at that. And that is Loretta Young. Look how young she is. Now these are going for pro about $25 a piece and I paid $3.99 for this. Um, it's the original photo in it, as you can see. It's the original photo, beautiful. Uh, oh, it's just a beautiful photo of her. And, and uh, so yeah. Um, and then a couple of, these are um, Lefton. Little Christmas dogs, aren't they adorable? Look how cute they are. Little Basset Hound. And yes, I did think of Jocelyn Elizabeth again because she has a friend that that has a uh, a Basset Hound. Um, uh, I can't even think. I don't know why I'm not thinking clearly today. Um, anyway, she a bidding like you know you can actually auction. So she auctions she auctions these off, and all the proceeds go to a charity. And I thought of her when I saw this. And then this little Westie. I'm not really sure what this is. And when I look it up, nobody really has a clear answer. But they're both left in. They're both vintage. And I'll sell. I'll probably sell them each. Um, I don't know if I'll sell them together. If I sell them together, probably $25. If, um, the little, this one has got little doinks in the ear, not, not, not major doinks, just little itty bitty chippies. Um, this one doesn't have any at all in perfect condition. And they were in a bag. They were in a bag. Um, I, which one was it? Um, yeah, $1.99 for both of these. And I'll sell them for about $25 if I, if I put them together. If I don't put them together, I'll probably sell them $12.50, $12.50.
you know, 15 each. Um, and then these vintage trays, $3.99 each. Um, they're called Scanly Stainless Steel from Denmark. And look at look at this. I just I just think this is the coolest thing. Um, yeah, so these go for about 25 each, and I've got four of them. So I'm real excited about that. So I, if I list these, I'll probably list them for 75 for the four. Um, I, I've got two items I'm holding back because I want to tell you my story. Oh, boots. I got me some really cute boots, and they were 30% uh, off. But look at, I'm going to wear these. These are for me. Aren't these adorable? Um, yeah, so winter boots. I'm excited. Uh, date night boots, I guess. <laughs> so I'm really excited about those. Uh, I think that is everything leading up to my little story. So yesterday when I was at Unique, I found this adorable butter dish and little teacup. Looking it up, there's no marks anywhere. Pay $2.99 for the butter dish, $1.99 for the teacup. They also had in a plastic bag for two nine uh no for $4.99. They had a they have four of the egg cups. And I'm like, I didn't know what they were. Was looking on eBay, couldn't find them, didn't know what you know, even how to search for them. So I left the egg cups, but I just thought these were so cute, I just brought these home. Took pictures, posted them on my vintage page on Facebook. And first person came up, said they are left in Mr. Do Mr. Toodles. And this is probably Mrs. Toodles because there's flour in the hair. So these are left in Mrs. Toodles. And they go for a lot of money. Um, I could probably list these two alone for 75 each. Or not each, but, you know, for the set. I was kicking myself for leaving those egg cups, kicking myself. And I was still pretty angry about this cup at that time too. I was just like, ah. So me and Chloe jumped in the car and we ran back to Unique because I was gonna get those egg cups. And I'm thinking, they're not gonna be there. Somebody else is gonna know what they were and they're gonna pick them up and they're gonna, they're gonna be gone. You know, sure enough, where I left them, they were gone. They weren't there. And I'm like, something in me kept telling me. Now listen to your gut, people. I don't know why I didn't yesterday when I picked these up. My gut was, buy them. Yes, it's five bucks, buy them. You know, you know you're, you're spending 10 bucks for everything, buy them. But I didn't. And so I was kicking myself for not listening to my gut. And so because they were gone, I'm like, dang it. They... Um, something in me said, keep looking, look around everywhere, look on every shelf. You're going to find them. You're going to find them. They're, look on every shelf. Sure enough, somebody had picked them up and probably didn't know what they were either. Couldn't find them on eBay and set them on a shelf somewhere and walked away. And I was like, oh, so I was really excited. I got four of the egg cups. Now, two of them are in beautiful condition and then two of them are um chipped up like this one has a big big chip on out of the bottom of it and then a lot of chips on the inside this one's got a, a few little chippies nothing major um on the in on the around the edges and the little chippy on the cheek got a little cheek chippy um other than that they're in excellent condition the um tea cup or coffee cup I don't even know what kind of cup this is has a little chippy on the handle but that's it nothing major and from what I can tell and I'm terrified to take the tape off of this because like I said it's terrible stuff um no no chips doinks anything on the butter dish and I mean they, aren't they just the cutest thing look at that so that's my going back story listen to your gut people um, I should have, but going back, um, what I did find was some more egg cups from Japan and look how little the eggs used to be. Like people, our eggs nowadays are huge. Uh, these things are 
tiny and only one of there's five of them from Japan and only one of them has a little chip on the edge so I can sell them as buy four get one free um, as a you know a little set of, of beautiful they're just really pretty little floral egg cups um, I can list these I paid $2.99 for these and I can list these for 25 so I you know in going back I found some more egg cups so I was happy about that um, because they're just so unusual and it's just funny how little they are so I went back today and I, t I showed you some of the stuff I picked up today but the biggest thing and this is why like the universe is like okay that got messed up the no big deal here let me give you something to make you feel better okay so this glass block is a Houston Lou and it's glass on copper and this is called um, liquid sunshine and uh, 19 or 2014 and I'm telling you <laughs> I looked this baby up in the store real quick and I paid $4.99 for this the cheapest glass block from Houston Lou is $99 the most expensive glass block that has sold is $500 five hundred dollars um there's one listed now for six hundred and they're all different there's no two the same this is number 11. um so i mean all of them are listed different i mean there's no two the same uh thank you universe just thank you universe i just can't get over how pleased i am um, it's got crazing and I don't know if the crazing in it is supposed to be there if you know I don't know because I don't know enough about these but it's still a beautiful piece and I don't even know that I want to sell it because I just think it's so pretty and and it is definitely an investment I definitely got a good deal on this this piece of art right here so anyway all right guys making sure I'm not missing anything and then I showed you everything thank you so much for joining me today I really enjoyed showing you everything I got telling you my little story and again don't use goo gone it's the worst stuff in the world just soak it in some warm soapy water and it will eventually come off it may not come off right away but especially if you get something like a Dorothy Thorpe or like here, I've got um, the silver on the, the edges. If I try to scrub that off, that silver is going to come off. Um, so if you, you have anything, that, the gold, the silver, anything on the outside, please just soak it in warm soapy water. And eventually that, that sticky will come off because you're going to ruin it if not. And I have learned that lesson the hard way. Don't even use um, a, the, one of those little white sponges, the magic erasers. Don't even use one of those because that will take off the, the, the gilding on the outside as well. So just warm soapy water and let it soak. And eventually it's going to come off. So anyway, it's been great. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next time.